Hi, welcome to Turtle Burger Crochet and Knitting. My name is Brittany. Today's video is another project vlog. I'm going to kind of abandon the whole day-to-day -day thing because that just doesn't, you know, always work. Life is life and I forget to write down exactly how many rows I do on everything. So let's just start fresh. This is what I did today. Let's get into it. The first thing I did um, was continued working on my Saul Goodman socks. I finished the first one, so I am now working the second one. Um, I'm gonna save what the actual first sock looked like, unless you've seen the picture <laughs> on my project page already. Um, save that for a podcast episode. But today I am now working on the second sock. This is, again, the Saul Goodman pattern this is a t it's just in testing right now by McKaylee of breaking yarn um i believe she is wanting to have it released on the 11th maybe um so definitely check that out i will link her website below um actually all of this stuff will be links below but if you've been with me for a little while you know that i really enjoy McKaylee's patterns so let's get into the details. So um, right now, this is Yarnaceous Fibers. It does not have a colorway listed, but it is Salta Fingering Sock Set, which I guess Salta could be the color, I don't know. Anyway, it's an 85% Superwash Merino, 15% Nylon. And this is really an amazing colorway. I didn't bring it over because I haven't gotten to this part yet, but there is um, a contrasting mini and that I did on the heel and the toe on the other sock. Obviously I'm using a nine inch circular. This is a Chowgu 2.25 size US one. I did a 15 round two by two cuff and I am now getting into the repeat. I think I've only done one repeat. Yes. Uh, okay, next up. Um, I am super behind on my dishcloths of the month. I did not do June's. So I started that one. This is the Narnia dishcloth. I didn't get very much done. Today I was having like total attention deficit um, on my projects. I couldn't decide what I really felt like working on. So this is this will be the Narnia dishcloth um, by the Kitchen Sink Shop. It's an email dishcloth club. I will put down below, you sign up for a newsletter. And at the beginning of every month, she sends you a free dishcloth pattern. So this is coming off gray, but it's not. <laughs> Well, I guess it kind of could be. Um, but anyway, here is the yarn I'm using. It is Mainstays from Walmart, 100% cotton. And it is in the color Soft Silver. This is an amazing um, yarn. That's what I was going to say. I couldn't remember. But they have gone up 50 cents a skein. So that's something to keep in mind. Because if you, I mean... Right now, they're at now the same price, or a couple of cents more, actually, from my local store of the Knit Picks Dishy. So, something to keep in mind. And I am using, it is just my preference to even knitting flat, use circular needles. So, this is my Chowgu Bamboo Patina Spins, I think is what they're called. Um, it's a fixed circular. 3.75 millimeter, which is a US size five. And then once I got um, kind of bored with working with that dishcloth, I went on to July's dishcloth, which is this one. And this one is called, um, I believe it's House of Style or something. So obviously I'm not very far into it. I think I've done the border and two round or two rows maybe something like that and again i am using mainstays 100 percent cotton yarn from walmart and this is in the color daylily pink 
This is very, very pretty. I am also using a 3.75 millimeter on this, but this is my Conet Bamboo needles. These were the very first ones I had, I started out with, started knitting with, and um, they're not my favorite now that I've gotten more comfortable with knitting, but they are an excellent starter to decide if you want to keep knitting and then you can invest in, in better needles. Um, and then this is totally new as well as those. You have not seen this, but it is amazing. This is the, whoops, Spindrift Shawl by Helen Stewart of Curious Handmade. And the yarn I'm using is um, Monarch Yarn from Etsy. And this is in the color Tropical Fade. I just love it. It is so pretty. Reminds me of the beach. That's just what I'm drawn to. Very pretty, love it. And for this, I am using uh, my Clover Takumi's US size six, four millimeter. This is um, really a beautiful pattern. I feel like I, I'm i not doing much justice yet, but um, I think as it grows right now, the one thing I like her, about her pattern is I've never seen a pattern written this way. Um, she has it on each page. She goes row by row by row, and she has a little section on the side, and you can periodically there's little blank boxes that you could like check off if you print it or whatever. I'll tell you how I'm doing it in a minute. But periodically she tells you the percentage that you're done and that's really a fun milestone. So um, I am now at 10% done according to her pattern. And the way I'm keeping up with it is I each, pa whatever page I'm on, I'm screenshotting it and then, um, you know, periodically I just go into the screenshot, match up the number of stitches that I'm supposed to have, and I just do the edit button where you can like highlight, and I'm just checking it off, literally, <laughs> um, so I get to the number of stitches that I have. So right now, today I got to 10%, um, and yeah, that's what I worked on today. I want to show you my how I'm keeping my yarn. <laughs> For some reason on my um, my winder, I mean, I have a Hobby Lobby winder that I got several years ago using their um, coupon. And I guess maybe it's just meant for cakes this size. This is where the cake started off and then it kind of went a little crazy and I just kept it going and it went into two cakes. So I've got them and they are bound in the middle by this piece of yarn right here so that when I finish this it will start automatically being a center pull on that one but um, yeah I just put a DPN through there with stoppers and I'm trying to keep the yarn together on that but anyway so I am done with my knitting for the day that's about all I've I've got in me. Um, I have so many projects that I want to get through, um, but I've been having a casting on problem. <laughs> well, I, it's not really a problem, but it does get overwhelming with so many projects. So I'm trying to clear my needles and I'm trying to get, um, I really want to finish my Saul Goodman socks. Um, other projects that I have that I didn't work on today is um, I'm nearly done with turtles barley hat I am on the decrease the crown decreases for that so hopefully that'll be done soon I want to restart my love note and I would like to um, go back to working on little ladies goldfish cardigan and I really want to finish my be simple variations shawl I am so close I just need to get it done so anyway that is today's project vlog. Hopefully I'll be back tomorrow, but you know, life is life. And in fact, if you're hearing in the background, we have our 
laundry going and you know life is life and that's just it <laughs> anyway um but we have knitting and crochet to get us through right oh speaking of crochet that was the other thing i want to start i tried starting it the other day and i it's been so long since i've crocheted i could not remember but i um i'm gonna get serious i've got my yarn right there next to me for it is to start um burgers christmas stocking i've already I, a couple of years ago i made turtle and little lady their stockings and what i do is i go into once i get up to um they're just traditional red stocking with the white cuff once i get to the white cuff i i what i like to do is go into stitchfiddle.com and i can make it to where their names are crocheted into the cuff really really cool how they how you can do that using their their website mm, but that is it okay i will see you in the next one i hope you're having a fabulous night bye